from Studio 3 at Buzz TV. It's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, welcome into another edition of The Horse's Mouth here at Tommy Max, of course, at my barn, brought to our good friends at the Heritage Capital Group and at Farther. We're talking new home construction. We're talking Mayo Clinic. We're going to get into it this time around right here on The Horse's Mouth. Let's welcome in the panel. Sean McGill is here from Taylor Morrison. Nice Sean. to see you, Tom. Nice Irish name, Sean uh, Patrick McGill. Sean right? Patrick McGill, yes, Tell sir. Tell us about Taylor Morrison. I know it's a big uh, national home builder that is making its presence here in Jacksonville. Yes, sir. We're headquartered in Scottsdale, Arizona. We okay. build all over the country, primarily on the West Coast, uh, Washington, Oregon, California, of course, Arizona, Nevada. Yep. And on the East Coast, we're in the Carolinas, Georgia, Florida, okay. Texas, and Colorado in the middle. Yep. And uh, while we're bigger and larger markets here in Florida, Orlando, Tampa, Sarasota, Okay. We're, we're really picking up steam here in Jacksonville. Are we custom home building? Or are we, we are a are we production doing? home builder, okay. so we have some customizations, sure. but within those limitations. So you're looking for land to develop neighborhoods, yep. build the homes, that type of thing? Yes, sir. We've yeah. got, got two open communities here in the Jacksonville market now. Okay. This time next year, we'll have six. Okay. Do, do you guys come in when the lots are ready, or do you get the lots ready? Just both. Sure you do both. Both. What do you prefer? It's always easier to have the lots ready because the development, it's just extra time right. and, and more potential delays. Less permit. Right? Uh, absolutely. I was in real estate, so that takes a while. To get yes, sir. Time. Yes, well, sir. Great to have you on the show, man. Well, Appreciate it. Thanks. Brian Crudis is here from the Mayo Clinic, Anytime. head of the transplant uh, division. Is that what I'm told, Brian? Yes, sir. A man. solid organ transplant. So uh, 25th anniversary of that program. Oh, really? Here. That's wow. right. We did our first one in 1998. So, okay. Uh, here in Jacksonville. Here in Jacksonville. Wow. In this, in this community. So you're in charge of the program. Right. It's all organ transplant. Yep, I partner with a physician chair, and okay. uh, he and I uh, uh, oversee heart, lung, liver, kidney, and pancreas transplant. And that's all you guys do here in Jacksonville. But there's a ton of others that you can transplant. Not that we have to get into it, but correct. There's a lot that you can transplant. A lot of different things. Yes. So, how is it? Like I asked you off there, but I want the audience to hear. Like. Yeah. You you dialing <laughs> dialing for a kidney? How much is it gonna? I mean, is it is it you know like someone's on a list? You you call out, find out what's available. The price is already set. You don't negotiate. Like, how does that all sure. happen? How does that go down to get? Sure. One? So so the the process for a patient would start really with a referral. So okay. they're gonna get. Uh, you know, a diagnosis usually of, of some organ failure or projected organ failure okay. from their physician. They'll say, hey, we need to get you a transplant center, evaluate that option for you. So okay. we'll bring them in, run some tests and see if they're a good candidate uh, to okay. undergo. And it's a pretty comprehensive evaluation. We'll bring them through. Uh, if there is a selection committee, if that committee approves, okay. uh, then the uh, patient will get added to our list. Okay. And then uh, if there's a compatible organ out there, uh, the, the national match list, then they'll give us a call. Okay. And uh, so behind the scenes on the business side, there's always insurance, yeah. uh, healthcare insurance that we work with. And so there's a separate uh, set of transplant benefits that we access. And so yeah. we'll work, uh, wh as soon as we get the referral, we're starting to work with the insurance companies to get okay. those transplant benefits opened up. You're like a finance guy at a car dealership, right? You go see him at the end. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> they get the deal done, right? Yeah. We got to get the deal done. What's the priciest transplant out of the five you guys deal with? Probably a lung transplant Lungs. because it's the most resource intensive. Okay. Yeah. And what's the toughest one to... You know, for it to like work, would it be lung? Disease? Also, a lung transplant. Lung. Yeah, they're very complicated patients. They're typically very sick patients yeah. by the time uh, that they get to us, okay. and by the time they get their transplants, right. and uh, and they spend the most time in the hospital as well after okay. after transplant. Wow. Wow. Uh, Sean, you did some charity work, didn't you? In the we have. Uh, well, well, back world? to this being a small world, yeah. Brian's actually in one of our homes. Oh, um, oh nice. Bought All one right. four years ago. Okay. And we just caught up, and it, it also turns out that uh, four or five years ago, I was the event director for the KD Ride for Life, okay. which raised funds for the Mayo transplant team. Okay. Very cool. What a small world. Small world. Small town. But small world at the same time. All right, so what can people expect from uh, Taylor Morrison well, when they're looking well, for Well, one of the great things with Taylor Morrison is we have products for the entire home buying life cycle. Okay. Um, from what we would call our home at last, folks that are buying their first home, starter home, whether it's a town home or, or a, a, 
a single family home okay. all the way up through homes that Brian, you know, bought maybe a second or third home gotcha. to our, restore, our resort lifestyle brand, which we call Esplanade, okay. which would be amenitized communities, golf courses, yes. uh, clubhouses, all those kind of things. You know, I'm in, I'm in the sports media um, and I hear um, so many national media take a shot at our city, at our Jags. And they don't spend any time here. It's like you're so ignorant when you say that. And I'm asking you, well, I, I could ask both of you this, but Jacksonville's a special place. And I kind of like that not everybody's found it, you know, because it, it's getting a little crowded, but it's going to continue to grow. And you got to feel the same way, right? Like you wouldn't, your company wouldn't be here. Mayo wouldn't be in Jacksonville. They didn't think that it was a great city to be in with a lot of potential, but... What do you say about it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, when you when you look at what, say, the country's gone through the last couple of years, yep. um, what you see is the influx of folks into Florida, of course, as being one of those attractive states. And particularly, Jacksonville, Northeast Florida, we're not undiscovered anymore. No, definitely. Um, you know, you, you just start by saying, we got an NFL team. Yep. And, That's and right. that really, my past life prior to, to doing real estate, I ran the FBO gas station for yeah. airplanes up in Fernandina Beach. Okay. So I was involved in the Super Bowl when it was yeah, here, yeah, and yeah. Um, that really did put the area on the map. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. I think with uh, the development that Shad Khan is doing downtown, we're going to get another Super Bowl. We'll get a draft. We'll get all the bells and whistles. No doubt about it. All right, Jags play uh, Sunday up in Cleveland. Are we Jag fans? Absolutely. Ish. Season ticket holder. Yeah, are you from here? Yes. You went to Florida, right? I went to oh, Florida. Went to, went to Fletcher. You went to Fletcher, too? <laughs> I all did. right, all I right, did. man. You're a senator. That's right. Very yeah. good. Well, how are we feeling about the team? Feeling good? Feeling they're a little dinged up, but okay. I think they got the right stuff. They going to the playoffs? 100%. 100%. What do you say? Absolutely agree. Okay. Now, I'm not a native. I actually okay. went to school in Hawaii. Oh, really? Um, okay. But I'm the eternal optimist. And okay. Was at the game Monday night. We both were. And. Yeah. Um, it was an entertaining game. Didn't go our yeah. way, but I think the I think looked great. Right. I was there too. Oh, the yes. stadium looked phenomenal. Love the light show. Yeah, the light show was awesome. Really? Yep. Yeah. All right, fellas. Thanks so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Best of luck and keep up the good work. We'll get into those other uh, <laughs> those other things later, Brian. All right, maybe at a different time. No doubt about it. I didn't know you could transplant just about every single thing, but you can. All right. Until next time, stay safe and be cool out there, and we'll see you right here on the Horses Mountain. Cheers. The team at Heritage Capital Group is special because it's a collection of people across the spectrum. We have people who have been in the shoes of owners that are looking to buy and sell and professionals that have executed transactions helping buy and sell companies for decades. I think when you talk to us, see what our experience is, see what our skills are, see the reach that we have, you'll be very happy with the recommendation.